Now, my God, what the hell are you wearing? It's a solid gold tuxedo, Lois. I had to fight three rappers down at the nonsense store for this. Look, Peter, this is not who we are. I'm worried the money is changing this family and not the way you hoped. Well, I was hoping it would make you shut up, so you're right. You know, I spoke to Bonnie this morning, and she said you haven't talked to Joe or Quagmire in two weeks. Who cares? I don't need Quagmire, and I certainly don't need Joe. I got money, Joe. <laughs> That's a good one, Money Joe. I don't like what this money is doing to us. It's even affecting Brian and Stewie. <sighs> I think I'm going to take a nap. What, here? Yeah, I had a giant mobile put in the sky so I can sleep wherever I want. <sighs> this is nice. I hope that bear comes around soon. That's sort of my favorite. Oh, look, the bear! And it's not just them. Chris has also been developing some very expensive tastes. Model glue, sir. Well, what do we have today? Today, we have a recent vintage procured just this morning from Michael's Hobby Shop. Yes, that's very nice. Bring me my finest rag. Your fancy rag, sir. You are relieved for the evening. <laughs> you don't see poor people doing this! Lois, don't you understand? We don't got any of our old problems anymore. We don't have to worry about paying bills. We don't have to worry about saving dough. All we got to do is enjoy ourselves. Interested? <gasps> oh, my God. Peter, it's beautiful. Is it a blood diamond? Oh, the bloodiest. The two kids who found it were forced to murder each other. Oh, Peter, I love it. Hey, you want to watch a DVD of the murder while we do it? I already watched it eight times, so I know exactly which part I want to blam at. 